Hello and welcome <clears throat> to a very special presentation of He Carries Me Over Ministries Incorporated, titled 12 Days of Christmas. During this time, and I would invite every one of you for the next 12 days, to take time and sit with God, for how long it takes you, 10, 15, or more minutes, and thank him for what he's given you. Thank him. Thank him. And during this time, you are more than welcome to ask God things. Because it says, ask and you shall receive. You receive not because you did not ask. Knock and doors will be open for you. Be thankful for the little things in life. Because when you're thankful for the little things, then can you only enjoy the big things that he has given. And then you can tell others about him. But you've got to be thankful for the small things in life too that he has given. And I hope every one of you had a very Merry Christmas. So let's begin the 12 days of Christmas. Throughout the Old Testament, God promised the birth of his son. For 8,000 years they waited. Some gave up, some continued to believe. Just like we do today on his coming back. Some will and has given up, while some will continue to wait because we know he's coming back. On the first day of Christmas, God gave to us a Savior born in Bethlehem. Today I light the white candle. This white candle is to represent the pureness of that baby born in Bethlehem. The pureness that we are to become before we enter in New Jerusalem. But yes, we got to be thankful for the small things in life in order to really appreciate the bigger things. And then we can tell others about it. Ask and you shall receive. So during this next 12 days, that is what for you to do. You are to invite God in to sit with you. He will. And get to know Him. Get to know what He is capable of doing. But when you ask Him things, don't be outlandish with it. Be reasonable. Lord, what am I going to tell? I go to you if you asked him that question, he would tell you. Live your earthly life for me and you shall never die. See, that's getting outlandish. Be reasonable. Also this day, I ask for prayers for this COVID-19. It seems to me like people is getting worse. But just when you think God is not working, oh yes he is. 80 million cases today in the world. Every 10 minutes, someone is dying in Southern California from the COVID. Every 18 seconds, someone is dying from the COVID in the world. 18 seconds, every 18 seconds, somebody is dying from it. How can you believe in God in times like these? How can you not believe in God in times like these? Out of that 80 million cases worldwide, 60 million has recovered from it. God is at work. 
He has gave the doctors the knowledge to come up with a vaccine. So don't tell me God is not working. He is. So continue prayers for that. And thank you. That is one thing that we can be thankful for on the third day of Christmas. God is really listening about his COVID-19. He really is listening. So we can be thankful for that. And other things that we can be thankful for in life. Just sit down and talk to God during these next 12 days. That's what it's all about. And I want you to think about this. Okay? Just think about what I'm going to say here. Many hill in many valley. My feet have trod. I have often wondered would they step on heaven's sod. I got my answer the day they stepped in Jordan's stream. I traded my rags for a rubber white. My shoes are now a pure gold. A glorious street the Lord is leading me. Nothing old. Everything is brand new. We just stopped by a mansion my name inscribed above the door. I want you to think about that. And I will see you tomorrow, same time as we light the red candle.